Good morning, Secretary Mnuchin, Steve, welcome. Welcome again to Israel. This is your second official visit. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, and we've begun uh, doing that. First, let me say that the U.S.-Israel alliance under President Trump has never been stronger. And I appreciate that uh, alliance and the strengthening of our relations in every field, uh, in uh, intelligence, in uh, security cooperation, uh, in trade, uh, in economic cooperation, and of course in our common approach to preventing aggression uh, in this region. And uh, this is what is going to occupy a great deal of our uh, discussions today, how to stop Iran's dual aggression, its quest for a, a nuclear arsenal and its quest for a conventional arsenal and its uh, plans of conquest in the Middle East. The uh, JCPOA effectively enabled Iran to pursue both uh, paths of aggression. Uh, rather than blocking their path to um, an atomic bomb, it actually paved their way to an entire nuclear arsenal. And it gave them to boot uh, billions, hundreds of billions of uh, dollars in cash and credits, uh, in investments, which enabled them to, uh, uh, to fund their growing aggression in the region. And we see that aggression in every part of the Middle East. We see it, of course, in our northern border, in their attempts to entrench militarily in Syria, their attempts to uh, bring the deadliest weapons to Lebanon, uh, to uh, launch uh, aggression through their proxies in uh, Gaza and elsewhere. Uh, so we have a, an aggressive Iranian regime that has used the JCPOA to uh, further that aggression to unbelievable heights. And that is why we welcome uh, President Trump's bold and courageous decision to get out of the JCPOA. And the focus of our discussions today is, uh, as we just discussed, is ramping up the pressure, ramping up the pressure against uh, the world's foremost terrorist regime, the aggressive uh, regime in Tehran. Uh, let me say that we have seen uh, in recent years that pressure is the only thing that arrests the uh, forward movement of the Iranian uh, nuclear program, and pressure is the only thing that rolls back Iran's aggression in the region. We're going to discuss how we can cooperate on this matter. We have other things to discuss, too. The world economy, Israel is a part of it. The American economy, our cooperation in these two uh, areas, uh, which are uh, very promising. Um, I think Israel and the United States prove the resilience of free economies, uh, which give uh, uh, freedom to their peoples for ingenuity, entrepreneurship, creativity. We have uh, the same minds and we have the same heart. We have the same interests and the same values. And in this regard, I want to thank you, Steve, for the work that you've been doing on the Treasury, both to arrest Iranian aggression and also to advance the unbelievable partnership between Israel and the United States. So welcome once again to Jerusalem. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's, uh, it's great to be here. And although it's my second official trip as part of the Treasury delegation, it's actually my third trip in the last year. Uh, my last time here, I had the pleasure of being part of the delegation opening the embassy. So uh, needless to say, I am thrilled to be back here again. Uh, let me first start by wishing you a happy birthday. Oh, I understand you. it's your birthday today. Um, uh, this is our, our first stop on my trip to the Middle East for this week. I will be going to six countries, and this is my first stop because we have no better partner than Israel in our fight against terrorism and our fight in combating terrorist financing. Uh, the message this week is to discuss uh, the implementation of the sanctions, which will go in place in the beginning of November. This is a very important part of our exiting the JCPOA and uh, our, our plan to make sure that there are never nuclear weapons in Iran. Not now, not in 10 years, not ever. Uh, that is the, the primary purpose of this trip. But we will also be hosting our economic dialogue this week. We have a very important relationship with Israel. Uh, this is really a, a great place for investments, particularly technology investments. We're going to make sure we do more infrastructure investments here. So this is a great place for U.S. investments. 
for trade and other economic opportunities between the two countries. So thank you for hosting us. It's a pleasure to be here with you as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. חאן אל אחמר יפונה. זו החלטה של בית משפט, זו המדיניות שלנו והיא גם תתבצע. אין לי כוונה לדחות את זה עד להודעה חדשה בניגוד לפרסומים, אלא למועד קצוב וקצר. ומשך ה, 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 הזמן שניתן לנסות לפנות את זה בהסכמה, ייקבע על ידי הקבינט. אני אכנס אותו היום ונקבע. זה יהיה קצר, ואני מאמין שזה גם יהיה בהסכמה.